Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. We've got the latest release from Mezco Toys 112 Collective, the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. This is a figure I've been really looking forward to and uh, checking out. Now, first and foremost, we can see that it uses this Suicide Squad movie logo on the box, so clearly it's that version, and you know maybe we'll be getting some others in the future. But I have to say, very excited to opening up the box and seeing what the figure is like. You know, first thing that we see, we get a lot of extras on the back. Uh, we, of course, got some various heads, some hands, her infamous bat, a gun, and everything else you'd expect when it comes to Harley Quinn as far as, uh, and 112 Collective figures as far as stands and stuff like that. So let's open up, show off what's inside, and see what we've got. Now, what's interesting is this box continues that we've seen the trend of uh, a lot of the latest releases in that they don't have the flap anymore. It's just the straight-up plastic so that you can see the figure, which I'm totally fine with. There's nothing uh, nothing wrong with that. Just very different box from earlier releases. So I'm guessing uh, since it's been three out of three as far as the latest releases having them, uh, that this is the new box that we can expect going forward as far as the releases. All right. All right, immediately we do have a little something underneath Harley's jacket, which we'll leave out and attempt to put that on her. But let's see what else we get as far as the figure and our general thoughts. Uh, the jacket's kind of cool because I don't, oh yeah, no, it's on the back figure. The fact that it's separate like that, though, I think it's kind of neat. All right. So Harley, she's got this little plastic on her for whatever reason. And let's see if she stands up. This one I imagine. Oh no, that was that was really really easy. Uh, I was gonna say I imagine this is gonna be a little bit difficult to stand up, but apparently not, as we've seen with other 112 figures. Really well balanced and pretty solid when it comes to standing. And the reason I thought it would be a little bit difficult is because we can see with her got a little high heels. Um, all right, so before we talk about the details of the figure. And generally what I think, let's actually do our usual test as far as how well it bends. Um, the ankles are good. Uh, we get some good movement there, full movement overall. Uh, what's interesting is the top of the boot is separate. Making it maybe a little bit uh, easier to stand and move things around. I don't know what I think about that. It's interesting though. Uh, knees, really solid movement hip exactly what we'd expect the waist good movement shoulders good movement uh, elbow is just this is a little weird uh, is fine and up the wrist and then I just popped it off it is totally works and then we get the movement of the head itself so as far as movement of the figure and all that, everything is is good. Like it's got the what we would expect for 112 figures. Uh, so that's great. All right, let's go with the detail because the detail of this figure is a hell of a lot of detail. First, this is a different sculpt than we've seen. This is a different figure. Um, you know, obviously uh, not the male sculpt like all the other ones. Uh, so this is a whole new body. I don't think we've seen this body on anything else so far, which I think is interesting. Uh, the details on this is impressive. Uh, there is a lot here, and it's a lot very subtle. Uh, first, we got the shoes. The shoes are, of course, filled with detail. With the laces, um, how it kind of breaks down, I think is really interesting. Um, you've kind of got the laces on there. Of course, the the pumps themselves. So the shoes itself are just filled with detail as far as the design and coloring. Uh, but the legs is where it gets interesting. Of course, we have the fishnets, but you can see underneath is lots of tattoos that you can see through the fishnet. 
which is something I don't think I've ever noticed in the film itself, but you can see here. Uh, of course, she's kind of got her booty shor shorts and then the belt that just hangs there. And then we can see the tattoo on the, the body. Um, and I think it's just red underneath. No, they gave her a red bra. That's kind of a, it's a good detail. And then we've got tattoos in the back as well. Again, small details, but important details. And then there's even straps for the bra on the back. As far as the arms, these, there's, we've got the spikes around the wrist. And it says yes on one side and sir on the other. And of course, the sparkly gloves, which look fantastic. And then, of course, the shirt is exactly what I expect. She's got the uh, uh, neck piece that says put in, and I think the likeness is really good. It's got a good kind of design, and generally looks like Margot Robbie, which is, uh, which is what you'd expect. So the details on the figure are really impressive. It's subtle, uh, and there's a lot to it. Like, this is one that there is tattoos all over the place, which makes the figure stand out. I don't, can't think of another figure that we've seen that sort of work on the body itself. Uh, so that's something that's cool. Um, you know, the fact that there is down to the bra straps on the back of the shirt that you can see through, I, you know, it, it's, it's going to sound pervy that this is a thing to notice, but it's a detail of the figure that, it, that makes it work. Um, you know, it's not just a, a coloring underneath or the something that they forgot that it's not even there. It makes it a bit more realistic, which is good. Of course, we've also got the tattoos on the legs and uh, the back and the front, which I think are also really important. It's a, that's a something with the design of the character I think is important. And of course we've got tattoos on the wrist too, um, which are all things that I don't think I'd necessarily notice in the movie. So just, it being on the figure I think is impressive. Now let's see how difficult or easy it is to get the jacket on. Yeah, it's going to be a big task because I have no idea what to expect. All right, first, I'm going to want to take that off. First lesson. And... All right, so the jacket I'm actually having issues with of the way at least the one is done. It's like trying to get a small child dressed. It just doesn't quite want to work. It doesn't want to work with you and doing its own thing. All right, so I'm actually having troubles getting the jacket on. So it's kind of a bummer. I think we're gonna have to work on the jacket a bit to make this happen. Uh, and it doesn't want to cooperate, which is a little bit of a stinker. I'll put on the wrist gauntlets, things, spikes, get it going. All right, so the jacket didn't work out. Small details, kind of a pain. All right, it is what it is. Let's see what else we got. We got some extras. We got the heads. We've got two different heads, which I'm liking. They're very different. We have her pop and bubble gum, which is really neat. I think it's actually a pretty cool head. In addition, I think out of the three, that's the one I'm liking the most. And then also on it. We get this one, uh, and I've noticed it on this. And it's also present on the one that's normally on the, the figure, is the hair detail, and kind of like that piece that's just there, and on both sides. And we got earrings. Uh, so I'm actually really impressed with the amount of detail of the figure, 
that is solid work. And then let's go with, this hopefully should be easier to put on. Come, we've got a gun holster. difficult to put on, so that's good. Um, it fits on pretty well. And then finally, we have some accessories. We've got her pistol, which I imagine is going to fit perfectly in here. And oh. and she fell. Uh, and let's look at the bat that it comes with as well. Again, just like her, lots of detail on it. They clearly designed this off of the movie prop because it seems to have a hell of a lot there. So overall, like, not a bad figure. This is one that's all about, I think, the small detail. Um, the body is definitely interesting. Uh, as far as the design, uh, the boots are fascinating how they handled that. Uh, the jacket, I'm a little bummed on that. It seems to be an issue of being able to get uh, get the jacket on, but maybe with a little work, we'll be able to open up the ends of it and uh, actually be able to put it on her because I think the jacket looks great. Uh, but overall, like this is a figure I think that's all about the small details of it that make it work. Um, you know, the body design is is good, um, but it's really the, the, like, the tattoos on it and uh, that sort of attention to the small, minute stuff that I think really makes the figure work and work best. So, overall, like, Harley Quinn fans should be very, very happy about this. Uh, just 112 Collective fans as a whole should be pretty happy with this figure. Uh, and overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this is something I've kind of been looking forward to. And it, it kind of meets the expectations for the most part. Just need to work on that jacket. So other than that, very happy about it. There's also a set of, there's uh, three different hands to use. Obviously that's what you're going to be using to put the, uh, the weapons in her hands to, uh, to have some fun with. Uh, so yeah, uh, overall, like, pr pretty happy with this. Looking forward to what comes next. I think it's probably going to be Deathstroke will be the release. Uh, so that should be an interesting figure overall. I'm expecting tons of extras. But overall, you know, if you are looking forward to uh, 112, if you like to check out 112 figures, you should hit us up every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're here on YouTube. have tons of videos unboxing the various 112 figures that have been released. Uh, so you can check those out. Uh, if you're into Harley Quinn, if you're into comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com and Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, much appreciated and keep it geek. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.